Bum 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Hello, Eurovision fans! It is William Carling from Movie Blogs, and San Marino has chosen Achille Loro for Eurovision 2022. He won the jury only national selection, Una Voce per San Marino, and he is going to be singing Stripper Damban. Hey, William! Are you ready to talk about it? Let's, <laughs> Let's do, do this! this. Achille is, of course, a massive star in Italy. He's competed in San Remo three times, but outside of that, he works with Gucci. He performs all over the place. This is very exciting. You may have watched his performance of Dominica at the most recent San Remo. Y'all, I am still sweating from head to toe. I was not thinking of Achilles' tendon. I was thinking of Achilles' nipple, his sort of areolas, and his nipples were on full display during his faux baptism angered the Vatican. In any case, we need to focus on this performance. All right. Hitting pa lay. Yes, yes Mr. Lauro. So fashion. Fleshy. Like a virgin. Like a virgin. Like a virgin. Ain't no virgin on that stage. I love Britney. I love Britney, I love Britney too. <laughs> I, they, you know what? He is so hot. Rock is totally in, isn't it? Bringing rock to the masses. That's what they want. Love this punk aesthetic. Is that all I need is your love? All I need is your love. It feels yes. like a rock concert, not a Eurovision selection. You know what, there's a melody here. I like this melody. Yes, oh girl. yeah. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> oh. Oh yes. Yeah, Talking singer, to the singer. audience, good interaction. Green hair, pink hair. Purple suit. Madonna, Playboy, Playboy, bad boy. You know what? And he looks the part. He's he all of these so things. He looks so Oh, thank he you, thank you. He sort of looks you. like a Playboy, too. Personal Jesus. Have your personal Jesus. Jesus. Amen. You see, I'm excited just picking out the English phrases here. All I need is my love. Nice to throw in the English so everyone can relate. Lips on the background. Look, this audience is obsessed. Oh, yeah. This is good. He's not even going full throttle. He's so relaxed. Ah! Ah! Oh, wow. There's a thrust here. There's oh, great yes. excitement. Hit those drums. And perhaps of all the songs we've seen so far coming into Eurovision 2022, it's got the greatest staging potential. They don't even need staging. This is San Remo done on a San Marino budget. I mean, I really like this artist. Punk, punk, punk. Great, great punk Oh, aesthetic. they all stand up. Oh, yes. yes, yes I mean. There is a lot to discuss here. I said this during the live reaction, but this didn't feel like a national selection for Eurovision. This felt like an actual concert. And I think that reality, that sort of authenticity, the ease, that was one reason Moneskin did so well at Eurovision, is you felt like you were at a real concert as opposed to a song contest. And Achille Loro is hitting, Laro, Loro, haha, 
Mr. Achille is hitting that sweet spot. He's so at ease, so confident, putting his hand out into the audience. I do suggest some anti-back after that, but he's just so comfortable interacting with his fans, and this audience is clearly filled with fans, and it's going to be the same way in Italy. Italians love him. He is a known figure. The fact that he's doing Eurovision, the fact that he went out of his way to get to Eurovision after losing San Remo shows how much he wants to do this. This is all lining up to be spectacular. We should point out, I believe this is the first time San Marino is sending a song with Italian lyrics since Valentina Manetta in 2013. You know, they've been going very English and now they're keeping it real with Mr. Loro. Again, amazing. We know Italian does well at Eurovision. From San Remo to San Marino, I'm loving this. It reminds me of the Ramones, the Stooges, Iggy Pop. You know, it's that kind of really strong sort of... It's a different kind of rock, isn't it? It's more stylized rock with great melodies. I really like this. I cannot see San Marino struggling for qualification this year. Two reasons. Hey, A, the contest is in Italy, so it's going to build a lot of momentum. The star is very well known in Italy. Also, he's a great performer. He looks good. He's kind of left field. He's going to bring in the crowds that um, aren't typical Eurovision followers to the contest. And you know what? I think this is a good thing. I, I actually think this is a good thing. That said, I do think he can amp his staging up. Again, San Remo on a San Marino budget. This is very, I don't know, city talent show. They've got some TV screens on the stage and that's about it. Imagine what he can do on the big stage in Torino. We saw his baptism at San Remo where he was, you know, shirtless, nipples out, tattoos out, you know, in the crucifix pose, showing off. He doesn't have bingo wings, but showing off his triceps, showing off. Oh, Lord, he was just showing it off. There's actually a video on the Wee Blogs Instagram from this concert or this national selection. I don't know if it was the encore or what, but he does strip down. He plays the role of a stripper for a moment. He's got that nonchalant sexuality. He defies definition. You know, he he could he, he could relate to a lot of people is what I'm saying. Men could be into this. Women could be into this. You know, he's just, he defies being put in any kind of box. This is like polysexual realness. I'm just like, you're like a spirit. You're like one of those Greek gods. Oh my God. You're like one of those Greek gods who's just like all encompassing. Like, oh Lord. Mm. Right, so he was in San Remo with Dominica. Dominica. <laughs> do I, what do I like? I like the visual treatment of Dominica. I think it was much more striking visually. Um, but I prefer the song, Kea yeah, Stripper. I think Stripper is great. I think where Stripper fails is just appearing to be quite low budget. But I think once the music video rolls out, once you know they get into rehearsal mode and they get the whole staging on lockdown, I think this could really fly. And I think this could contend for San Marino's best placing at Eurovision. We've said that before. I know we said that for, what's it called? Um, Adrenalina. And that didn't quite beat Say Na Na Na. But I think this is also in the running. That's what I think. I love the punk pop aesthetic. I love how... It's at once dirty but refined. Do you know what I mean? He's like, he's filthy. He's like, there's this like, yeah, you could see him somewhere very late in London, late at night in one of these clubs that gets shut down by police. But then he's so refined and sophisticated and can model for Gucci. He's just ticking a lot of boxes. I also love how there's an innocence on his face. You know, amid all the tattoos, there's a real sense of purpose, of spirituality, even of innocence. Um, Sometimes I look at his eyes and I'm like, your eyes are so sad. I want you to be happy. So Achille is no stranger to controversy, of course. We remember Dominica, you know, kind of stirring up the Vatican. And Stripper is gonna... I feel like there's a lot here. There's a lot here. There's a lot of nuggets that you can turn into a meal. And yeah, 
Um, you know, I'm really excited about it. Ashila coming into Una Voce per San Marino already, you know, turns this into perhaps the deepest field of acts gunning for the trophy. And he's come out victorious. You know, I wasn't surprised about that. I think there's a confidence that he exudes and he brings that with him on stage. This, this is good. At this point, I'm not in love with it, but I'm in love with its potential and what it can do at Eurovision. This is the kind of rock that I like. It's sexy, it's stylized, it has thrust, it has a punch, it has a kick. And you know what? It comes with its own pepper sauce. Stripper, I say take all your clothes off and bring your goods and your guns to Eurovision 2022. Is this the sound of beauty? Uh, in my world, it's moving closer to it. I mean, it looks good. It's beautiful. All those tattoos and the eye work and uh, you know what? Turning up the heat. And I'm living for it. San Marino is not going to have any problems qualifying to the grand final. They are competing in semi-final two. We've discussed this many times. The second half of semi-final two is filled with countries that rarely qualify. San Marino is performing in the first half of the second semi-final alongside Australia, Georgia, Cyprus, Serbia, Finland, Azerbaijan, Israel, and Malta. Look, this is going to sail through. I don't see there being a problem. Um, Italy's not voting in the semifinal, but it doesn't matter. I think jurors will respect the fact he signed with a big label in Italy. And I know they shouldn't think about these things, but let's face it, they do. Jurors are bullied for having their opinions. And so sometimes people play it safe. And knowing that this artist is an established artist in Italy will probably give some jurors a psychological boost in terms of voting for him. And also, he's not trying too hard. I think sometimes pe people try too hard. He can just show up and use his internal X factor and nonchalance and he will slay. But also, if he does want to, like, turn it up, he's got the budget, right? He's got the backing. He flew the entire, not the entire, but he flew several members of the Harlem Gospel Choir to <laughs> San Remo, you know, for a week plus rehearsals to compete with him. So he's got those coins. So I can imagine a spectacular stage show. Oh, my God. All right, I just want to say that I don't think he sounds like Moniskin at all. A lot of people have been comparing the two explicitly, saying the music's the same, but that's not the case. And in fact, on the Wee Blogs website, Cozy says, so much disrespect being shown for rock music when people are suggesting Moniskin and Achilles songs are similar. They are in completely different genres. Achilles has much more of a punk aesthetic, and Moniskin has never been close to punk. Purple Mask writes, so San Marino went with an established Italian artist this year. That might be a smart move. We'll see how that plays out. I'm not a fan of Achille, but I know he has many fans. Addy says, this was pretty obvious. No offense, but what was the point of having this national final? I think Stripper is great. I just mean, why couldn't they have selected Achille internally? Ever since Ellis was out of the running, I knew that Achille was going to win. Anyways, leaving all of that to the side, I think it's great that Achille finally gets a chance to go to Eurovision. He is such a great and charismatic performer. I hope he has a very different and avant-garde staging for Turin. And Sabrina says, as someone that has been following San Remo closely, I'm excited that Achille Laura will be in Eurovision, even if he had better tracks than Stripper, though my opinion may change when I listen to the studio version, since Una Voce per San Marino sound mixing was far from great. The song also sounds a little too specific to sell for a wider audience, but if there's someone that has the stage persona to make people talk about him, it's this guy. Yeah, those are fair points. I think that his song does have the ability to kind of reach out to people. The word stripper is so universal. We've seen strippers and stripping, you know, put on the big stage, on the big screen. Magic Mike, part one, part two, and now the third version coming. Uh, that movie, Hustlers with J-Lo, Cardi B was in it. Um, You know, strippers, what's that other one? Coyote Ugly, does that involve strippers? All I know is that the theme of strippers is kind of timeless and universal. Um. And then I would say there are those English lyrics in his song, you know, I love Britney, me too, free Britney, hey, um, Playboy, Madonna, your personal Jesus, very Depeche Mode lyric there. He is finding ways to bring people in, but not in a cringe way. And I think that's really important and very special. You know what? I'm not one to go to strip clubs, but if Achilles is going to perform at a strip club, girl, I might have to sign uh, get me to that club. There's something about Achille that is just so, I don't know, at once dirty but tender. I look into his eyes and I'm just like, you are deep. You contain multitudes. 
and I wish you all the best. Ashile Lauro, are you on Pinterest? Now, that is one mood board I want to see. Scroll up, scroll down, scroll right back up, and keep it on slow mo, auntie. Devin, if Achille Laura was on Pinterest, you probably have to be 18 years or older to visit. So I do not think we should be recommending it, but I'll be going there right now. In any case, that's what we think. What do you think? Are you loving the song Stripper? Do you think the song needs any tweaks ahead of Eurovision? Does it need more power? Do you like the current aesthetic? Do you want to see him amp it up? Let us know here on WeWe Vlogs. Follow us on multiple social media platforms, including Pinterest. In any case, we will see you later. Bye.